How's it going guys? Today is Valentine's Day and I just got here to Santa Ana River Lakes with my beautiful girlfriend and it is 5.40 in the morning and surprisingly there's a couple cars waiting in line already. The lake opens at 6 so I'll keep you guys posted once we choose a spot and we start setting up. This is the first spot. Um, I'm gonna give the first spot since early morning. I'm gonna give it like a good two hours maybe before we move uh, We're gonna try to find these fish today. Now after this, we'll see what spot we move to. It's a pretty big lake uh, Right now, we're barely towards the entrance. The entrance is down there um, There's some guys right there and then this is the boat dock So right now we're gonna fish this area right here. And if not, maybe we'll go towards that corner over there There's also a smaller pond down there. So we'll see where we go, but Overall, we're gonna try to find these fish today. Cool, so we have three rods set up. Uh, one of them has cheese power bait. That one has white power bait. And then that other one right there has a uh, green power worm. The power worm, I cast it out a little farther away. Well, these are kind of like mid range. So we're gonna see um, how far they're out if we're able to hook onto them. I just got some ramen ready to eat for breakfast something warm and after that we're gonna get the double drop shot out there and see if we can cook up onto one so i just finished the ramen that thing felt really good to eat with the cold outside and then that being so warm but anyways right now we're gonna set up the drop shot we're gonna use these spartan minnows that i got from golden state fishing um the sun's coming out weather's really nice Hopefully the sun gets a little stronger so we can start getting a little warmer. But I'm gonna try um, this black color and then this white color first. Uh, the white color, I'm most likely gonna put it towards the bottom. Maybe because the water's more murky, murkier in the bottom. So white would be more visible. And then the black on the top. give it one more cast and then we're gonna move down that way and try the drop shot over there let's see if we got any luck on that side Okay, so after a couple casts, I think I only felt like one bite. Stop the cap! What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch the black one on the bottom and then the white one on the top. See if that does anything. And we're gonna move down towards the other way, where the other side where we have the other rods, to see if there's maybe any fish there that wanna bite the drop shot instead of just the bait that they're presented to. Alright, let's head over there. 
we're just on the other side so we were over there now now we're right here just a small little move let's see if it makes any difference we're gonna give it a couple casts here and then possibly change the colors afterwards maybe the trout want to hit a different color about 8 30 we're wrapping it up at the first spot not even a bite i think i just felt one small bite on the drop shot but no fish so now we're just gonna wrap everything up and then go to the next spot we'll see where we go we are at the next spot we are next to the bubble hole as they call it because of all the bubbles that come out from the water from the lake on that side so now we're gonna fish this little area so we'll see how we go how it goes so we just got to the small pond that this lake also has we just set up all the three rods right here and then i'm gonna start doing the double drop shot in a bit let's see if we can hook, uh, hook up onto one here because I have not caught a fish on this lake, but I just always caught it on the big lake, so we'll see what happens. We are going to move on to the next spot. We were here for a good hour, hour and a half. No bites, no nothing. So we're going to go back to the big lake and let's see what spot we could find. Just putting everything back right now in the car. The time is now 3.07 and unfortunately from six in the morning up until now we have not gotten a fish so we're going to call it we're gonna pick up the rods right now and call it a day because today just wasn't our day many people that came in the morning with us already left the lake is almost practically empty except the people that would come in during the noon session they get to be here from noon to 11 p.m which just isn't which isn't a bad deal um i was telling my girlfriend if we should possibly stay the rest of the day but unfortunately we don't have the food or the snacks to keep us going for the rest of the day we only have a couple sandwiches left but it's not going to keep us with the energy that we need to be here up until 11. see look now there's another car coming i don't know if you guys could see them over there but they're all coming from from the noon session so after noon they could come in and they could stay here till 11 unless they want to do like the afternoon session and then from there they could do from like 5 p.m to 11 p.m but we're gonna call it thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys on the next adventure let's see where i go because i might not come back here for a couple weeks or a month because it does get expensive especially when when you don't catch anything but it's all good we had fun we celebrated valentine's day here and let's see what we do after this because we still got a whole day to ourselves anyways thank you guys for watching appreciate it if you leave a like if you subscribe me and my seven subscribers that i have or so but it's okay, we'll we'll grow a little little by little. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.